In this video we will show you how to convert dynamic drawals to static drawals in Studio Audio. But before we show that, let's first explain the difference between static and dynamic drawals and why it's advisable to create static drawals from dynamic holes. Static holes in Studio Audio are normally created using the Holes 3D Super Process. The Holes 3D Super Process produces a drawal file, which means static holes are file based. The Holes 3D Super Process also uses datamine files as an input, which means the source data has to be converted first to datamine before the static holes can be created. Static holes are more permanent than dynamic holes. Static holes can be better processed using other commands and processes in Studio RM. Static holes can be readily exported with all of the attributes. Dynamic holes in Studio RM are normally created using the whole wizard. A desurvey drill object is created by the whole wizard. The whole wizard can directly connect to a variety of data sources, which makes it simpler to create dynamic drills. The dynamic drill object can be manipulated while loaded in memory, but when the object is unloaded, all changes are lost. Dynamic drills are therefore also more temporary than static drills. When a dynamic draw object is saved to a file, only the traces are saved to the file. None of the other attributes are saved. Dynamic drawals are therefore not suitable for post-processing. None of the other attributes are also exported when dynamic drawals are exported to other formats. From this explanation, I hope that it's clear that both dynamic and static drawals each have its own advantages and that the combination of the two provide the best option for easy importing and also manipulation possibilities. In this example, we have already imported dynamic drawals. Select the sample analysis ribbon and click on the define holes button. Click the Rebuild Holes button and select Create Static Draw Holes. You will notice another object has been created. It's a static drill holes object and we need to save that object. Now we have a static draw hole file. And this is the process to create a static draw hole file.